uh, Battle of the Books rescheduled, and hooligans. And more on today's news. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The Spring Slash Summer Supreme Collection is dropping today. And I have my backpack today. Since Battle of the Books was canceled last night, it will be rescheduled for next Wednesday, March 4th. If you have any classes with Ms. Ulrich, you should take study materials and meet in collaboration room DOS. There will be a bilingual parent, next, parent night next Tuesday, March 3rd. It will be held at 5.30 to 7 p.m. at FHS. It is for parents of students grades 6 through 12, but students are encouraged to attend. Possible sessions include FAFSA, 21st Century Scholars, and Scholar Track. Congra congratulations to Adric Mounts, Olivia Ramos, Anna Beardsley, Michelle Garza, Carmina Arizmendi, and Cassandra C Lopez Carrillo on earning gold at ISMA District Solo and Ensemble. They will compete in the uh, state contest at North Central High School this Saturday. Don't have plans Saturday? Well, you're just in luck because the Hooligans will be having an improv show this Saturday at 7 in the theater. For lunch today in lines 1 and 2 will be country fried chicken, 3 was closed, 4 is quesadilla or spicy chicken, and line 5 is Big Daddy Pizza. Happy birthday goes out to Haley Campbell. Now let's send it over to weather and sports. Good morning, I'm Chris with your weather. The high today is 33 and the low is 14. It is supposed to snow today. Here is the quote of the day. Don't ever think there's any perfect society made by humans. If you think that way, you'll overlook the enemy. Don't be fooled by appearances. That is all for weather. Now to Lathan with sports. Thanks, Chris. And what's crackalacking, fellas? The CEO of Cringe? Maybe, but we got to keep a PG on here. Anyways, in sports news, there isn't much, but there are sign-ups in the main office for the fan bus to the boys' basketball section in Grand Castle. At least 30 students need to sign up in order to have the bus. Cost for tickets to the fan bus is $10, and you must bring back a completed permission slip and the $10 in order to sign up. The deadline for sign-ups is Monday, March 2nd. The bus will leave FHS at 4.30 on Tuesday, March 3rd, for the basketball game in Grand Castle. You will receive your ticket when you board the bus that day. Please help us bring a huge student section to the boys' basketball section in Grand Castle. That's it for sports. Now we'll head back to your host. Everyone is invited to the annual fish fry at the St. Mary's Catholic Church. It will be held every Friday during Lent from February 28th to April 10th, 4.30 to 7 p.m. Carryouts are available, being only $10 and $5 for kids 12 and under. There will be a variety of foods from fish, baked potatoes, desserts, and more. Sapphire auditions will be held for the first week of March in the band room. Any student interested in dance or color guard should attend. A call-out meeting is this Friday in room 107. Contact Mrs. Bacon or Mrs. Lovis or a current Sapphire with any questions and sign up for auditions outside room 107. Now, send it over to Mrs. Long with the Big Wheel of Fun. Hey, hot dogs. Time for more Big Wheel of Fun. And you should know that we have enough prizes for two extra weeks, so the fun continues. Here we go. Big number. Ooh, number 88, except John Isles has already won. Sorry, John, only one prize per person. We're gonna try again. Number 11, oh, wow, what, what a killer. Except Amanda Graham Bishop, you have also already won. You're number eight. I tell you, here we go again, too many prizes. Will it stay? Oh! Oh, don't. <laughs> number nine, Liz Ulrich. Liz, you're our first winner. Here we go, winner number two. I'm stopping it. Number 10, Justin Munier, you win. <laughs> Our third winner for the day is June Palmer. June, you win. Fabulous. Thank you guys, have a great day. Well, that's it from us today. Make sure to like and subscribe to stay updated. Also, on this day in history, 
The 46 stars added to the U.S. flag, signifying Oklahoma's admission to statehood.